Hey guys, what's up? It's Sia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a skincare routine. I am so excited. Um, this video has been requested by some people on my TikTok and I wanted to show you guys how I keep my skin for the most part pretty clear. I feel like I've really gotten into skincare these like past or this past year. I feel like 2021, I really got into skincare and I really got into taking care of my skin and my body. And you know, that comes with not just the products you use, but what you eat, what you drink and kind of how you're taking care of yourself mentally as well. Okay, so we have our headband in and I've really found for skincare for me, it's really about getting in that like regimen and doing it every single day, not missing a day. And I've gotten super, super good at that. I don't think I've missed a day in a really long time. And I'm so disciplined to doing my skincare, even if it's late at night and I'm tired and I wanna go to sleep, I always make sure to do it because in the morning, I feel so much cleaner and I'm so much more thankful that I did my skincare. So I like to start off with a makeup remover. I love this Garnier Micellar Water. It's so good. I've been using it now for a really long time um, and I love it so much. Even when I don't have makeup on, I like to use this because there's always dirt on your face from the day, from walking around, you know, you never know. And today was one of those days where I definitely had makeup on because I went out to dinner and yeah I just like to make sure I get all of it off before I start my skincare and this kind of acts as like a toner as well for my skin I would say my skin is like it's like dry in the winter um but it definitely can get super super oily I would say I definitely have combo skin and I've never struggled with acne but I definitely um, in eighth grade, I struggled with pimples and I had like a lot of bad like cystic pimples on like my nose and like my chin and I was always so upset about them and I was so confused because I thought I was doing all the right things for my skin and I really still to this day believe I was doing everything right for my skin. I think what I was doing wrong was not drinking enough water was the first thing because I used to never drink water and now drinking water is a part of my daily routine. I like to wake up and have either hot or cold lemon water. Throughout the whole school day, I drink like a water bottle. And then when I come home, I also have another glass of cold or warm lemon water. And then when I go to ballet, I have a full water bottle. And then when I come home, I also, before I go to sleep, try to drink a full water bottle so I'm very disciplined when it comes to drinking water and I've seen such a drastic difference in my skin it's honestly crazy and I found that my skin is so much more like clear and it works better with makeup and products so yeah but my next product is the drunk elephant jelly cleanser and this is my favorite cleanser that I've ever used it is so nice and it's so nice on your skin. It's so gentle and I really, really like it. So then I just pat my face dry, never rub. I always pat. And our first two steps are done. So now I'm going to use, and you guys will see, that I use a couple of dermatologists recommended products when I was struggling with some of my like little pimples and it was really weird because I never struggled with like cluster breakouts. It was like one pimple on my nose or my chin that was super annoying and it like would not leave. So I went to the dermatologist and they recommended me some products. So now I use this cleanser and this is a sodium sulfate and sulfur cleanser. And I like to use literally like less than like this amount. And I just focus it on my nose, my cupid's bow area and my chin and on my forehead because I feel like those are my most oily places on my face. So I literally take a pea size amount. And next I'm going to move on and away from my cleansers and now to my serums and moisturizers which are my most favorite part of my skincare routine um cleansers are always a pain 
washing your face is like not my favorite thing to do, but now we're gonna move on to the more fun products. So I'm gonna start off with Kaiser, and my moisturizer is from Drunk Elephant. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with Drunk Elephant. Their products are amazing, and I would say Drunk Elephant and Beauty Counter are my top two products when it comes to skincare. And also, I use a lot of dermatologist products and some random ones here and there. So I'm going to take this moisturizer from Junk Elephant. This is the Whipped Cream Moisturizer. I'm obsessed with the name. And I just like to take like that much. And I just go like that. It is raining outside and I love it so much. I love rain. So... I like to go super gentle, like massaging it into my face really nicely. Okay, so next I like to take, this is the Accuzone, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not really like a moisturizer. It's not a cleanser, obviously. It's kind of like an ointment. And this is my other dermatologist recommended product. And I kind of focus this in the areas that I just kind of told you guys where I put my cleanser. And this is more preventative, again, for pimples or any like sort of oil or breakout that would come through. And I feel like this really has helped as well so much. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to my serums. So I use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite products ever. And I use this product to help me put on my gua sha. And now, I know there's a lot of debate around the gua sha, if it really works or not. I honestly cannot tell you. I really feel like I should have taken a before and after. I use this every single night. So I don't really know if it's made a difference. I mean, I can't really tell, but I just love it. It's a little form of self-care for me. And then I use the beauty counter intense moisture serum and i put this on before the glow one and i really like this it's like a milky texture and i'm just gonna really massage this into the skin okay so now it's time for this and i like to do like a pump of that about that much and i just put it on both cheeks and i just slightly rub it in but i really like to just let the gua sha or the, wait, am I saying that right, gua sha? Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, whoops. But I'm gonna take this, it's pink of course, and I just like to go like that. And I do that like four times to each cheekbone. Okay, perfect. So that is almost my skincare routine. I just have two final products. So I like to do a eye mask um, every so often a week, just kind of as a form of self-care, but also because I feel like I always have really bad bags in the winter time because I'm like always so tired and sleepy. Um, this little hair is peeking out. But I have two today, and these are my go-to ones, the Wander Eye Beauty. You can get them on Amazon. They're so good. They're only like $22, and they come in a pack of three, and they're gold, so they're so pretty. And then my mom recently got these, which are the Beauty Bio Bright Eyes um, Depuffing and Brightening Eye Gels. And I kind of want to use these because I've never used them before. So we're going to open these up. And they look super super cute thank you guys so so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope this made you want to do a little more self-care and take care of yourself more and make sure to drink your lemon water drink your water it sometimes sucks but it's so much better in the long run when your skin is all nice and clear and you're feeling healthy and you're feeling like good and happy so i love you guys so much take care of yourselves and see you in my next video